वाई टॉकिंग अबाउट कंटेम्प्रेरी पोस्ट मॉडर्निस्ट फिलासफर्स इफ वन डजेंट टेक द नेम ऑफ मिचल फोके दैन इट वुड बी कम्प्लीटली अनजस्ट मिचल फोको वॉज एक्चुअली अ फ्रेंच फिलासफर ओपोट फॉरवर्ड हिज इन फेमस सोशल थ्योरी नेम डेज पावर रिलेशन इन विच स्टेटेड डेट पावर एंड नॉलेज आर इनसेपरेबल एंड डेट दे आर को रिलेटेड टू इच अदर डेट पावर डजेंट ऑलवेज वर्क इन ऑपरेसिव रिप्रेसिव और कोसिव वे but power can also be productive in order to validate his point that power constitute knowledge he gives an example that state institutions set up the criteria for what kind of knowledge should be taken as true or valid and it is through this privilege that they exert power and it is actually productive power that people cannot actually find out that they are actually under the influence of any sort of power and i think this is the main advantage of power being exercised by the state institutions that the state institutions limit the criteria of what kind of knowledge should be taken as true and valid and those who cannot withstand their confined criteria are labeled as traitors by the state institutions and this is how that productive power works and it is actually more influential than any kind of oppressive or repressive power and he actually expounded his ideas further that just like power constitutes knowledge knowledge can also constitutes power just like many professions such as doctors or engineers have gained certain amount of knowledge that is suitable for their degree and then they end up exerting the power on those who actually don't have that knowledge so this is exactly how power relations work and nobody in a sort of society is excluded from any sort of power and i think power in a productive way is actually more useful than power in a repressive or in oppressive way because it doesn't allow people to think that they are actually under the influence of any sort of power michel foucault was actually really much interested in power relations in his book discipline and punish he actually described this phenomena called disciplinary punishment that the certain education system such as schools universities actually exercises their productive power through teaching students what to think rather than how to think and they actually do so in order to tame the students in order to not make them realize that that they are under the influence of any sort of power so these are the ideas that michel foucault has really discussed in his book discipline and punish and i think you should give it a read and these are the concepts that michel actually described in his book discipline and punish so thank you for sticking with me throughout the video